What's up, YouTubians? Gary at VW Jawbreaker. Welcome to a chilly, I'm in a jacket, Florida day. Check it out, beautiful weather. It's absolutely beautiful skies. We had a front come through and we're at like 45 degrees and like 20, 25 mile hour wind. So hopefully you can hear me. So what are we doing today? It's been a bit since we've been in the garage. We've got the 1960 Volksrod Franken Beetle Baja build. Last video, we did the front bumper. Still kind of growing on me. There's some things I'm not liking about it some. Um, don't really like the way these had to curve over to meet this. Me ah, whatever. That's what it is. But overall, that was kind of the look I was going for right there, right? I don't know. We'll see what it does. We'll see. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and keep this whole motivation thing moving forward because there's still a few left things left we have to do on the body, including fitting doors. Um, this one's just kind of stuffed in place. We got a little bit around the windshield to fix, a little bit around the back uh, package tray to fix. For the most part, everything else is done. So again, to stay motivated, we're getting this body off of here. It's out of here. It's time to work on the chassis. So sit back, grab something to drink, relax. Let's get to work. All right, so here is the plan. We've got the camping trailer that we built a while back, the little Harbor Freight trailer. I took the little box off the front that we use for all the doodads, whatnots. Where I set the body on the trailer. Should be simple enough, right? So there's two different ways that I can do this. One is I can get somebody out of the house to give me a hand, right? Okay. Plan B is we'll take some ratchet straps from both back corners up to the trusses up here in the attic to lift the back end and then we'll get the front end higher, move the chassis out, back the trailer in. Not gonna lie, it'd be a lot easier if I can get some help. We'll see how that goes. Moving on. All right, so I got each one of these straps to the beams up top. And we'll just go off the back point. That was fun. Chassis out. I don't know what the world is beeping out there. What the heck? Driving me nuts. Okay, anyway. It's all suspended. Everything's good. It's able to raise it up high enough to get the chassis rolled out. Now I'm going to go and get the chassis out, get the trailer in underneath. Yeah, this is. Uh, Holy cow. All right, moving on.
that was honestly not too bad so it just fits on the trailer width wise getting us to the four foot wide little harbor freight trailer so i just put it up on a couple blocks all the way around put a strap across the front strap across the back just keep it steady so it stays on and doesn't slip off we really don't need this thing slipping off i'm pushing it around the yard now unfortunately this is going to go out back now it is covered with osfo should be okay covered with osfo um we'll tarp it and strap it down should be all right i'll keep an eye on it and again this thing's not turning out like i thought anyway so let's get that in the back get the chassis back in the garage and we'll continue on Well, there we go. Put to sleep for now. May run another one over that way just to help keep the tarp down. Should be good. Now we can move on to the chassis. There we go. Chassis is in the garage. So first things first, won't be today. We're gonna strip it. Transmission's coming out, drive line's coming out, torsions. We'll go ahead and strip the insulation stuff off the tunnel. Prep, get rid of all the old pans off of it. And just a quick inspection. There's a little bit of right down the very bottom we're going to have to make some patch panels for, but nothing we can't deal with. The pulley in hat's good. We'll have to fix up here a little bit. Nothing too major at all. So I know this was a short video. Uh, it's been a little crazy around here lately between work and as some of you guys caught on several videos back, about five months ago or so, we had to put our dog down. She was my world, she was my everything, and uh, she was a huge part of this family. She was family. That's the way pets are for me. And as you guys know, doing everything that we do, giving back to the community, humane society and all that every year, with the help of all you guys, it's been really rough not having an animal, so. My time over the last week and a half has been dedicated to, well, we got a puppy. So I'll insert a couple photos. She is a golden retriever, lab mix, 12 weeks old, and she is absolutely amazing. Of course, potty training, great training. Whew, it's a lot. So just bear with me, guys. I appreciate you guys being here as always. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. But like I said, we're making a big push on this coming real soon so i hope you guys stick around for that until then be kind to one another treat people who want to the way you want to be treated and be good